Hey guys, it's Rec here, and I'm really excited to uh, bring this uh, information to you. So after a lot of work, uh, we now have a full integration of the Chameleon Ultra device with the Bruce firmware. So I've put a lot of effort into this, and in this video, I'm gonna show it to you, all of the functionalities that we now have in the Bruce firmware. So without further ado, let's start the open chameleon and it will ask to turn on the device. So we click here and we press OK. It is searching and connected. So the first functionality is the battery level. So here you can see that it's 100%. And uh, the Chameleon device works with two different frequencies of RFID. The low frequency, the 125 kilohertz, and the high frequency, the 13.56 megahertz. So if we press OK to change the mode, we have high frequency functionalities and low frequency functionalities. Okay. Uh, let's start here with the low frequency. So the low frequency read, we take a low frequency tag and we put on top of the reader. So we have, can take another one. And now we have the data here. So with this, now we have some other uh, items here. So for example, we can clone the UID. So it will take this UID and write into the tag. Uh, the, the UID is still in the memory, so we still have other functionalities here, like low frequency emulation. And with this, I can select a slot. So let's take the first one. And now the first slot of the chameleon in the low frequency slot, it will contain the data of the tag. Another item here, we can save a file. So we can give it a name. Let's give it like LF tag. Press OK. And now let's go check this file. It will be saved in Bruce RFID. So here we have the LF tag. We can view the file and we have here the UID. Let's go back. RFID, chameleon. Now we have to connect again. So we'll turn it on and press OK. OK, so now the uh, we don't have the UID in the memory anymore, so we don't have clone or save file, but we have load file. And we can load the file that we just saved. And with the file, we can clone UID or emulate it. So we can try to clone again. Okay, let's go to the next um, clone emulation, save file, read, load file, and we have here custom UID. So in custom UID, I can uh, type here a custom UID, but if I put like an invalid UID, it will say invalid UID. So we need uh, five hexadecimal, five valid hex. So let's put like one, one, two, two, 
three, three, four, four, five, five. And once again, we can clone the UID or emulate. So let's go and emulate it in the slot two. Okay. And now we don't have any other features for the low frequency tag. So let's exit the application and pair with the phone here again. So let me click here, turn it on and connect. Open Chameleon and refresh. So you can see here the uh, in blue is the low frequency data. So, and you can see the slot one is the tag that we read from uh, this, is the UID from this tag here. And the second one is the custom one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five. Okay. And the green is the high frequency data. So we have here all default value. Okay. So let's disconnect and let's go back here. Let's connect again. Okay, so let's go to the high frequency functionalities. So it's pretty much the same, but with the high frequency so let's start with the read. My tags here are dual frequency, so I can read it and it show reading data blocks. So the high frequency tags contains data blocks. So it will try to read all the data. So we just have to leave and, okay, let me put it again. We have to leave it here while it's reading so we can read all the blocks. So the MyFair Classic has 64 data uh, blocks of data with um, 16 bytes each. If we just put and take it off, it won't uh, have time to read all of the data blocks. Okay, so once again, Okay, it's done. So here we have the device type. It's a MyFair one kilobyte, the UID, the ATQ, ATQ way bytes, and the SAC type. Okay. And with this, what I can do is clone to a different tag, write data to a tag. So clone will just like take the UID of the tag and uh, saving the other one. Write data will just take the data blocks from one tag and uh, save in the other tag. We can emulate, save the file, just like the low frequency. And we have some other options here, but let's start with uh, emulation. So I'm gonna emulate on slot one. Okay, let me go back to the read and I want to read this. I don't need all the data blocks right now. So it's B5 and the blue here is zero 09. Okay, so let's take this yellow one. I don't need all the data blocks. I just need the UID. So let's press okay here and clone the UID. So I'm gonna uh, clone this B5CD to the blue tag. Done. Now we can go back to read. 
and this tag is b5cd now okay so let's now read all of the data blocks again Okay, with all of the data blocks, what I can do is sometimes it's in the reading mode, it's hard to open the menu because it keeps trying to read. Okay, um, we can write the data. So for writing the data, it won't change the UID of the tag, it will only change the data blocks. So let's put in here and it will write the 64 blocks of data. Not all 64 because the block zero won't be reading. Okay, uh, blocks uh, have been written. Let's check the other items in here so I can save a file. I will leave this name here. And once again, let's go back to other SD card, Bruce RFID, and read this B V5 C D view file. And here we have the UID, the SAC type, and the ATQA bytes. Okay, and here we we need to um, put it to write all the uh, the blocks of data, all of the pages. Um, we're still working on this, but it will have in the future all of the data in here, just like, for example, this tag here. all of the pages here okay let's go back to the chameleon okay Another thing that we can do is load a file. So let's load this read only. And I want, a, uh, I can clone the UID, write the data or emulate this. So let's clone. So this tag is uh, 8A7B. Let's write here. Okay, let's check. 8A7B, so it worked. Let's go to the next item here. The custom UID is the same. So, for example, I want here 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 3, 2, 1. I want to emulate on the slot 2. Okay. The other item of the high frequency is the scan. And the difference between scan and read is that read will try to read all of the data blocks. So it is much slower. Uh, and the scan will just uh, scan the uh, IDs of the tags. So let's open the scan. And if I put one tag here, it will print. If I put another tag, it will print here. So we have two tags. If I take another one and another one, so it will be adding here the tags that it find. Okay. And if I try to put the same tag again, it knows that this tag uh, was already uh, read, so it won't uh, add it again. 
when we leave this so let me change the mode here let me go back to read and close it um, we go to SD card Bruce RFID scans we have the last file here all of the IDs are here so the 8a the b5 the 61 and this other 043e okay so let's check the emulation of the high frequency I'm going to turn it on and connect Let's open here and refresh. So in green here, you can see that in the first slot, we have the B5CD tag. And in the second slot, we have the uh, custom 1234-4321, okay? The last item here let's open again is the factory reset it will ask to confirm Let's go back to the phone. And now all of the slots are empty. We can enable the slots because by default only one and two are enabled. And refresh. all default okay um, we're still working on this we're still uh, improving the functionalities we're still trying to add uh, some more uh, functionalities to this but at least now uh, we already have a working integration for all of the um, all of the the standard um, the standard functionalities like reading, writing, emulating, um, getting the battery, um, resetting to the, the uh, doing a factory reset. So all of the 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 most of the the functionalities we're already covering, but we're still fixing some bugs and it will be probably in the next version of the Bruce firmware. So check the website, bruce.computer, and uh, follow us on the Discord so you can check the latest news from our team. Okay, guys, that was it. Thank you so much, and I see you in the next video.